Welcome to the Bill Bjorn Rules Tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how to set up and configure rules for repeating invoices and receipts. This screen shows you the rules section of Bill Bjorn which is empty at the moment. Our goal in this video is to create a new rule for a repeating invoice. We will tell Bill Bjorn where certain data fields are located so that the next invoice can be processed fully automatically. You only need to do this once per contact. A typical situation is that you notice that the Bill Bjorn data extraction algorithm got some fields wrong. In this example, you can see that we have a new document in our inbox. I will have a closer look at the document in the review screen. As you can see, Bill Bjorn was not able to pre-fill the data fields on the right-hand side. As a first step, I will enter the correct values on the fields on the right-hand side. Bill Bjorn was not able to detect the contact, because we have not received an invoice from Bob's Timber and Hardware before. So I will create a new contact here. I will also fix up the date, due date, and invoice number. I will also enter a description, select an account, select a tax rate, and fix up the invoice total. Now that all fields are corrected, I could press the send button and export the invoice to my accounting software. But since I expect more invoices from that contact in the future, I will create a new rule instead. The easiest way to create a new rule is to select create new rule from the menu up here. This will ask me for a rule name. The checkbox indicates that I would like to use the values I just entered as default values for my new rule. I press the OK button and Bill Bjorn will create a new rule for me. You can see the rule screen here. It shows my new rule with the name Bob's Timber and Hardware. The invoice document from the review screen has been attached as a sample document to the new rule. To edit a rule you can press the edit button at the bottom of the screen. The rule keywords are automatically pre-populated. That means if you upload a new invoice that contains the text Bob's Timber and Hardware, this rule will be applied. The keyword should be unique to a contact. Unique keywords from the invoice could be the contact name, phone number, email or business number. Just make sure you enter these values exactly as shown in the invoice text. The quotation marks mean that words Bob's Timber and Hardware need to appear next to each other. You can read a rule like this. If a new invoice contains the keywords Bob's Timber and Hardware, then create a new bill and set the contact to Bob's Timber and Hardware. In addition, apply the following rules. Apply the auto detection algorithm to the date, document number and total fields. And set the description to Timber. Set the due date to 31 days after the document date, set the account to general expenses, set the tax rate to GST on expenses, set the tax type to tax inclusive, and set the tracking field region to north. I will click cancel here because I have not changed any values and go back to my inbox. Now I would like to test my new rule. I select my document in the inbox and click on resubmit for processing. This will resubmit my document to the processing server as if I had just uploaded the document. Resubmitting only takes a couple of seconds and does not count towards your processing quota. After the processing finishes, you can see a little automation symbol with the rule name here. This means our rule has been applied to this document. I will have a closer look at the document in the review screen. Here you can see that the values I specified in the rule have been applied to this document. But you can also see that some values are still incorrect. The date is not right, the document number is empty and the total is incorrect. I can see that the invoice date was taken from up here, but it should have selected this date here under invoice date. Our invoice total is 1100, but Bill Bjorn shows 1500. To get more information I can click on view recognition details from here. This will bring up a screen that explains the recognition result. We can see here that our rule keywords match the invoice text. The rule keywords are highlighted here. The auto-detect algorithm has selected the first date in the invoice which is incorrect in this example. The invoice total has been selected from the text-free shipping for orders over 1500. This text is located on the bottom of the invoice here. To fix these issues I need to fine-tune my rule. I will go back to my rule screen by clicking on Edit Rule Bob's Timber and Hardware from the menu. 
I need to adjust the rules for the invoice date, document number and total. I will start with the date. Instead of auto detect I will select fixed location from the drop down list. Then I press the select button to select the date area on the document. In this screen I can tell Bill Bjorn exactly where the invoice date is located. This works well for electronic and scanned invoices. This does not work very well for photos of receipts because the location is always slightly different in a photo. For multi-page documents I can also tell the algorithm to have a look on the first page or last page of the invoice. When I am finished, I press the green OK button. I will repeat this process for the document number. For the total I would like to point out one setting here. It is called fixed value. If you have for example a fixed monthly internet bill and the total is always $50, you can select fixed value here and enter 50 here. This will always set the invoice total to 50. I will change this to fixed location as well and select the invoice total. I will now save my rule and go back to the inbox. Here I select my document again and click on resubmit for processing. When the processing is finished I will go again to the review screen. Here I can see that this time the date has been taken from the correct location. The document number has been detected correctly. And the invoice total is also correct. Our goal in this video was to create a new rule for a repeating invoice. We now have a new rule that can process new invoices from Bob's Timber and Hardware fully automatically in seconds. You only need to do this once. All future invoices from Bob's Timber and Hardware will be processed automatically from then on. I hope this video gave you an overview of how powerful and easy to configure the data entry rules are. Thank you for watching.